What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bright-Eyed Birding Learn. Today, we're going to be talking about a complex ID issue. That's common ravens versus American crows. Now, these two birds give even the most experienced birders trouble, including myself. So hopefully these tips will help you become an expert distinguishing these two corvid species. Without further ado, let's dive in. Here we have the American crow on the left, and on the right is the common raven. Now, American crows and common ravens are both large black birds. However, American crows are just slightly smaller. Size is not a great indicator for in-field ID because most of the time you won't be making a side-by-side -side comparison between the two birds, and a lot of times what we see is either smaller or bigger than what we previously thought. Common ravens, for example, have much bigger and heftier bills than American crows do. Their foreheads are also a lot more sloped. American crows, on the other hand, have a much smaller bill to head ratio. Common ravens also have more of a neck beard compared to the American crow. Their feathers are more ruffled and less smooth as well. When these birds are perched, they're by far the hardest to ID between the two. In flight, it's a little bit easier, but when they're on the ground, it's just really difficult. In flight, there are a few subtle differences that you can pick out to distinguish whether this is an American crow or a common raven. American crows either have a slightly rounded or perfectly straight edged tail. So if you see a straight edged tail or just slightly rounded, it's most likely an American crow. While common ravens, on the other hand, have a wedge shaped tail that looks more like a diamond in flight. When American crows are flying, they have a rowing, motion and they will also rarely glide when they fly as well. Common ravens on the other hand will fly with slower wing beats and interspersed glides that are much more frequent than the American crow. Moving on to vocalizations, this is probably the easiest way in my opinion to distinguish whether it's a common raven or an American crow once you get the, the differences down. First here's the call of the American crow. I like to think of it as your generic crow call, the, the, the crow call that you hear in cartoons, for example. It's a lot more smooth and it's a lot more clear as well, a lot more HD. And here's the call of the common raven. This one's a lot more in the throat of the bird. It's a lot more guttural. Ravens will also make a variety of different calls, including clicks. So if you hear a weird sound in the woods and there are large blackbirds around, most likely those are the common raven. Now let's move on to their ranges. Where are these birds found within the United States? Common ravens are year-round residents in Canada, Alaska, and the Western United States, as well as Mexico. They can also be found in Europe, Asia, and Russia. So they're kind of all over the place. While American crows are much more limited they're specifically only in the United States and Canada, and they're year-round residents throughout the US, and they're breeding residents in Canada. So if you're a resident of the Eastern United States and you see a large black bird, it's most likely an American crow based off of its range alone. Although, there are a few other crows species out there like the fish crow that are honestly even harder to distinguish between the common raven and the American crow. So you have a different conundrum out east than we have out here in the west. Next, we'll talk about their behaviors and habitats because these do differ just a little bit. American crows can be found in open woodlands, fields, and roadsides, as well as beaches and town centers. They mostly forage on the ground and eat almost anything they can find. During the winter, crows will gather in large numbers, sometimes ranging in the millions. During the warmer months, they sometimes head off solo, but are mostly found in groups. Common ravens can be found in forests, towns, scrub, and mountains. So that's kind of the one difference is common ravens are more commonly found at higher elevations than American crows. Ravens will often do somersaults in the air, and in some cases they've been known to fly upside down for several miles. So if you see this behavior, you're looking at a common raven, not an American crow, most likely. Common ravens as well will eat almost anything on the ground, so you can't really distinguish which bird it is based off of them eating. This is the big kicker. Ravens are mostly found solo or in pairs. However, you have to be careful with this. Just because you see a large flock of large black birds doesn't necessarily mean that they're American crows. In the Mojave Desert, for example, I have seen upwards of 40 to 50 common ravens gathered all together in a group. Don't lean on this ID point alone. Both birds will flock, both birds will come together, especially if there's some large dead animal that they can feed on. 
Now that we have learned about both of these amazing birds, let's do a quick quiz. Here's the first photo. Make sure you lock in your ID points. This one is a common raven. All right, next photo. This bird is also a common raven. And this photo of a bird flying, this is an American crow. Notice the straight edged or slightly roundish tail. And lastly, this bird is also an American crow. Notice the less hefty bill and not as much ruffle feathers on the neck. All right, now you're a pro expert in IDing these two large black corvid species. Let me know in the comments below, which ID conundrum should I cover next in the bird world? Also, if you'd like to see me birding in Oregon where I go find puffins, check out my other channel. It's just bright eyed birding without the learn part. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you all next time on bright eyed birding learn. <laughs>